Hello viewers, this is Dr. Padma Shri, lecturer in geology, Government College Autonomous Anantapur. Today, I want to speak about some geophysical principles which are very very useful in mineral exploration. All of us know mineral exploration is a very important topic where we will be exploring the we will finding out where the various minerals oil natural gas groundwater where they exist okay we will be always in search of aquifers good aquifers what are aquifers they are the bodies which contain water okay and we will be in search of traps traps means the rocks which contain oil, petroleum, natural gas and we will be in search of various minerals. Okay, so we utilize some physical principles like gravity, magnetism, electricity, radioactivity and seismicity in mineral exploration, oil exploration and groundwater exploration. Okay. So, amongst all geophysical methods of exploration, do you know what is the first method? Very useful method, non-destructive method. It will not involve any sort of destruction. It is a very, very useful method and that is gravity method. All of us in our lower classes are familiar with Earth's gravitational field, acceleration due to gravity, gravity or what not okay so here the gravity of the earth is measured to give you an idea of what is present inside what is hidden inside the earth okay so in a simple form gravity methods are the methods in which the gravity is measured in a certain area to give you an idea of an aquifer or a mineral deposit or oil or petroleum or natural gas okay so now let us see how you measure this gravity what are the equipments which are used and how these gravity methods are used so all these things now let us go through see gravity earth's gravitational field is measured in areas using a very very important equipment called gravimeter okay so gravimeter is an instrument which is used to measure the earth's gravitational field in your area of survey so what what is it it is nothing but an equipment which is having a spring to which the weights are attached so you'll be taking this gravimeter along the traverse and wherever there is change in the density the value of gravity also changes. The spring will move. Okay. So wherever there is some abnormality inside the earth. Abnormality in the sense. There may be dense rocks. There may be some water bodies. There may be some old mine workings. Or anything. If there is any abnormality in the area. What happens? You will see some deviation in the spring. The spring moves. And you will get some abnormal values when compared to the already measured values in that area. So then you will come to your conclusion that there is something hidden inside and then we can go ahead with our exploration. So gravimeter is an instrument which helps us to measure the gravitational component in the area of exploration okay so gravimeter is nothing but a spring attached with weights here i want to tell you see if there is a dense rock over then the gravity also increases so gravity of the area increases with the density of the rocks let me remind you all the densest rock what is the densest rock basalt it is a very dense rock and next comes granite and next comes sandstone which is having low density. So if at all any in any area if the gravitational values are less then you can think that it is a sandstone. 
and all of you know sandstone is a very very good aquifer it will carry water then you can go ahead with your exploration in those lines like that we will come to a conclusion that if the density of the rock is more the gravitation value is also more and all these values measured in an area are plotted in a graph called gravity anomaly graph gravity anomaly graph what is it so in a complete area of survey you might have taken so many gravitational values at various distances now take all the distances on the x axis and all the gravitational values on the y axis you'll get a v shaped curve an inverted v shaped curve is seen after plotting all these values so what happens at one peak point the value of the gravitation is more and again it will come down that peak point is called gravity anomaly and if you can note that distance and if you can explore over there you will get some abnormality over down it may be an aquifer it may be a mineral deposit or something of your interest so gravity anomaly graph shows us how to identify the location of the anomaly so where the rocks are behaving in an abnormal pattern where the rocks are giving abnormal gravitational values maybe because of their density maybe because of something which is present inside the earth that anomaly has to be noted and that anomaly is called gravity anomaly and that curve is called gravity anomaly graph or gravity anomaly curve so by identifying the differences in gravity we can easily explore the mineral deposits or various interests or various water bodies or oil petroleum and natural gas bodies here i want to say in all the geophysical methods gravity method is the first adopted method and it is has proved very very useful in oil exploration after the development of seismic method maybe it has been eclipsed it has been shadowed now seismic methods like reflection method and refraction method are very much useful but still all of you remember gravity method the first geophysical method is a very very useful method it is totally non destructive you are not destroying anything that is the very important point over here you are just taking a gravimeter along with you you are taking the measurements and wherever the spring goes down you are think, thinking that the gravity is more taking the values coming to your lab plotting the values taking the distance on the x axis and the differences in gravity on the y axis you will get a curve that is called gravity anomaly curve and that anomaly point will indicate some deposit inside so these gravity methods are very much useful in oil exploration in ground water exploration in finding out the old mine workings and dear viewers now i want to tell you nowadays there is a lot of improvement in gravimeters you know there are so many gravimeters there are some airborne gravimeters which used by means of aircrafts ground gravimeters which we normally carry along with us there are also floating gravimeters which will estimate the mineral resources which are hidden inside the oceans also okay gps ground positioning system gis softwares all 3d modeling systems all these latest computer aided equipments are helping us to conduct the gravity surveys in a fruitful manner so gravity methods which use the measurement of gravity on the surface of the earth and if at all there is any abnormal value or anomalous value which is called gravity anomaly which is measured by an instrument called gravimeter you can identify something which is useful for you in your mineral exploration process thank you